That's America. That's the future right there. $450 for a Yeti cooler, and this is just your average one. Can you imagine that? Well, there you go. There's your prices on your Yeti coolers. $450 for this one. I bet the ones with the wheels are two, three hundred dollars more easily. I've seen them six ninety nine, seven ninety nine, and eight ninety nine for a Yeti cooler. It's plastic. <laughs> you know, when you see older malls, this is this is the future right here. Amazon, order at Amazon, pick up right here, online order. That's going to be our future, right there. Uh, in front of me there is Bed Bath and Beyond, and I noticed a sign as I came in. They're going out of business. Store close, closing, Bed Bath & Beyond, 20% off. Now, that's not even a bargain. <laughs> Entire store on sale, everything must go, 20% off. Are you kidding me? That's America. That's the future right there. That's the future right there. Going out of business. He's holding the sign up, facing both ways to traffic. But uh, I'm at the mall in Brandon, Florida here. And um, I haven't been here. I haven't done a show on it. But uh, that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to head in here and check out and see what's going on. Hopefully, there will be a lot of people here. This is always a mall that's usually packed. <laughs> which you never can tell. So uh, let's head in, let's have some fun. Well, this is the kind of the entrance to the mall that I always go into. And, and you know what, there's a books a million here and I didn't think people read books anymore. I thought everybody read everything online. I could be wrong, but it says up to 75% off. They're probably going out of business, but you have books a million here, Bahama Breeze, Cheesecake Factory. Their uh, key lime cheesecake is some of the best, but we're gonna head in right here. Now this is Saturday and it's 11:30, so we're gonna head in here. We might, we're gonna, we're gonna absolutely stop at the food court. So uh, we need to get something to eat. And uh, cause I worked overnight tonight, but anyways, we're heading in here at Cheesecake Factory. Love this place. Well, I'll see if I can walk in and show you some of the cheesecakes. I can just smell the food in here, and this is usually packed. This is usually a packed mall. I expect it. I expect this place to be filled. And by later today, it will be just jammed. There's P.F. Chang's over here. But I'm going to go into the Cheesecake Factory. And let's just look at some of the cheesecakes. I love this place. Let's see what they have. Let's look at the prices, too. And they're expensive. Oh, look at the cheesecakes here. Where's my favorite cheesecake? Right there. That's that key lime cheesecake. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Then the prices for your cheesecakes are right there. $9.50, $10 a slice. Yep, but look at this. Just beautiful, these cheesecakes. They're so delicious. Where's the Oreo cheesecake? That's a really good one too. But that's now my, my new favorite, the key lime cheesecake. Oh, you gotta try it. But there's really nobody in here yet, but it will be filled to capacity and people waiting outside here. But this is a really nice cheesecake factory. And we only come here to grab a slice of cheesecake. That's it. So this is the, there's the P.F. Chang's. There's your Red Robin there. This is Westfield Brandon Mall. This is a new restaurant they just built called Chapter 11. It's kind of like a bar, bistro type thing. This isn't too bad of a mall. It's fairly old and they've, they've redone a lot of this. And normally these are coming out of here a lot faster than this. But, um. Uh, it's okay, and this P.F. Chang's, there's the big horse right there. And um, Red Robin, I can smell something. Someone's cooking steak or hamburger here. <laughs> smells really good. But let's head into the mall right here and uh, let's check it out. Westfield Mall. Here, we, there's a carousel up here too, really neat. And here's the directory of the mall. I don't know how many stores are in here, but there's a lot. This They have a nicer food court in here. I, I like this mall, I come here a lot. They have a Dillard's, Penny's, a Dick's Sporting Goods, Macy's. This is where the Sears used to be. It's no longer there. I'm wondering how long Penny's is going to be uh, uh, lasting. I just don't know. Hellsburg Diamonds. And I realize that this is in the morning here. This place will be packed. This is the most packed mall I've seen in Florida, next to the Florida Mall in Orlando. But you always see this carousel going here. And I'm going to head to the food court right away. In this mall, compared to the Mall of Millennia, has kiosks everywhere. The Mall of Millennia didn't have a darn thing in it. Oakley, a separate Oakley store, which is, this is really nice here. Sunglasses are pricey as anything here. But a nice store. There's a nice little fountain here, a haagen over there. Reed's Jewelers here, and this is a big place. 
and this is fairly new. Imagine that. They just opened that up. Air Apostle here, but you see all the kiosks in the mall. This is a Skecher store. A nice Skecher store. Not as big as in the outlet. I think this is Abercrombie Fitch right there. I'm not, not sure, but that's a nice store. My wife shops in there a lot. But look at these Tillys here. Very nice store and Express. This isn't your most exclusive mall, but, but it's not a bad mall. It's not a bad mall at all, but full of kiosks. And you can, t you can see the older tile here, original tile. This is probably 25 years old. Yeah, it's an older mall, but <laughs> it, it's, it, this is still a nice mall. My wife and I, we come here a lot and uh, get Starbucks. There used to be two Starbucks in here. Now they have uh, just one. Of course, they have the Mac store. And um, they used to have Sears. That's gone. They, they went out of business. They have the Macy's, Dick's Sporting Goods. I like that place. But oh, here's uh, K and uh, Zales Jewelers across from each other. There's uh, K Jewelers and then there's Zales Jewelers right there. The children's place, children's clothes here. You have a Vans. This, they're always nice. They had one in a mall millennia and it was really nice too. Really nice shoes, tennis shoes. And of course you have this place right here. This is the finish line. And my wife has bought shoes in here. They have a lot of tennis shoes in here. All the finish lines are really nice. Now we're coming up to the Macy's right here. Here's a fit to run. Very uh, popular store. And this is a little bit of a smaller one. No running track in it like some of the bigger uh, fit to runs right there. The candy barrel where, where the candy is $16 a pound. Something like that. There's your Macy's over there. And that's that's not bad of a Macy's. We we get a lot of stuff from there that's on sale. But here's your candy store. Very very pricey stuff. Let's look at the prices on the candy. Oh, there's the price. One pound sixteen ninety eight. A half pound eight forty nine. Oh boy. Lots of candy though. They try to direct people where it says more shops this way because nobody comes down here anymore because Sears is closed. And Sears used to be right at the end of this mall. And they have this this gizmo here. It's a uh, a bungee it's a bungee jump. And there's a beautiful champ store right there. But here's the bungee jump. You can see why nobody comes down to this end of the mall. Who would want to? Sears is gone. And um, who, I mean, you just you're not going to get the mall traffic right here, but that's where the Sears used to be, right down there, and they're gone. Everything about it's gone, done, out of business. I think I read that there's 16 Sears stores across the U.S. that are still in business, but not for long. <laughs> now, now this isn't a bad little fountain here, and you can see it's copper. It's starting to corrode right there, but uh, that's it. Looks like water pressure slow today. But I, I spotted something here and I just want to say that, you know, when you see older malls, this is this is the future right here, Amazon. Order at Amazon, pick up right here, online order, that's gonna be our future right there. I don't know if this is a store out of business or they're not open yet, I can't tell, but it's almost noon. Now we're, we're heading back toward the food court and we're gonna walk through the food court next. We're gonna be heading to the food court next. We're passing K and Zales Jewelers. And uh, I like this food court here. They have a Chick-fil-A, and they'll probably have the longest line because I love Chick-fil-A. Love their chicken sandwiches, so we're heading that way. Let's go. There we go. Cotton, cotton on. I guess everything in here is cotton, right? Co cotton on. <laughs> They have this Mr. Mango right here, and this is some really good stuff with the mango drinks and the uh, the different uh, uh, items here that you get your mangoes with. But there's the mango right there churning, and it's really good, but it's really expensive. Oh, this is not Abercrombie. This is Hollister. See, the name is right there. I don't know why you wouldn't put the name up there, but it's right down there. I had to look for it. But this is nice, nice clothing, but pricey. Very pricey, in my opinion. Oh, here's Air, Air, Air Apostle right here. Yep, all cotton in there, mostly. 
here's Pack Sun in here. There's Pack Sun. And here's your Hagen Doss. And I haven't seen them. Oh, I see the prices now. Oh my goodness, there's the prices up there. Oh jeez. Oh, you can't have a a mall without a, a Starbucks. <laughs> Not at all. And uh, there's there's the carousel. It, it'll maybe it'll get going. Maybe it'll get going. But we we came in over on that side, and we're, we're heading down to the food court here, and we're going to see what's going on. Uh, cotton candy right here called Fluffies. Oh, I love cotton candy, but I don't know what the price on this stuff is. But they'll make it make it for you right here. Fifteen dollars. There you go. Fifteen. $15 for cotton candy <laughs> and there's a cookie company over here let's walk over here they have a juice bar here looks really nice mango pineapple passion fruit there's the great American cookie company right here buy 10 to get three free I don't know what the 10 are though <laughs> but uh, there you go with that this is the food court and you can tell there's a lot of people here already because this place is just just a better mall for the food court. More your middle class, and here's here's Chick Fil A. Always busy. You see the uh, these these guides that they have to keep people here, but uh, always packed all the time. Villa Chicken, and look, Popeyes is coming soon. Oh man, old competition with Chick Fil A. Look at the sandwich right there. Holy smolies! And uh, Chipotle they have here, uh, $8.99, $9.99, $10.99. .99. This is better than the, the Westfield Mall, the one I went, West Shore Mall. Philly's Cheese Steaks, still a large is $12.50. Thai Max here, you can see the pricing there, $11.99, $10.59. It's, it's, about, it's about there, but this is cheaper than other malls. Sakura, or Sar Sarku, Japan. I, I like how they prepare the food right here. I like that. Right on the skillet or on the hot thing. There you go. That looks good, doesn't it? And the pricing isn't too bad. $8.99 right there. Woo! Here's here's China Max. They always give free samples here. Always free samples. Oh man. Bourbon chicken. Well, here's the food court, and this will be filled today. And you can see the activity, and I, you can hear it. And here's you, Green. This is a uh, vegetarian. This looks good. You see those right there? The fruit cups look good. Now, this mall is active. This is an active mall. Expensive for the... Um, look, at, look at the prices. Oh, my gosh. This is an active mall right here. You can see all the people. Lots of people here, all the big tables, everybody sits at them there. And we're coming back out, the carousel is active. Here's lids, which are all hats. There's the carousel. Oh, kids are always on this. The Starbucks, they'll have a line with 30, 40 people here shortly. They're all waiting now. My wife might be in one of these lines. <laughs> but there's the carousel, kind of neat. And this is the center of the mall. And we're gonna go around the Dick's Sporting Goods and the Mac store, the Apple store. There's Hellsberg Diamonds we came in. And here's Victoria's Secrets. This is a, uh, it's a big store. Now we're heading down toward the Pennies area. And it's, it's getting busy right now. Bath and Body Works, you can't have them all without one of them. Oh, and it, it, this is a big Bath and Body Works. The store's huge, it's just huge. And I saw this place here, it's called Build-A-Bear Workshop. I saw a guy building a, a teddy bear in here. This Build-A-Bear is really neat workshop and they make these teddy bears for you right here. And I wish the guy was here that was making them, but he makes them right in here with this thing here. This is really neat. They make them right here. Hi. Really neat. All the different teddy bears. Abercrombie and Fitch, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> nice store. A Chico's. 
My sister used to shop here all the time. It doesn't look like a lot of people are here now, but it's it's busy. And then you get your massages in the front of the store. There's Pandora. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's Valentine's Day coming up. Oh, boy. Toy Palace right here. There's a lot of different stores in here. Sunglass Hut. I think there's two of them in here as well. Shoe cleaning. If you need your shoes clean, you don't see that very often. You can't have them all without a pet pretzel place. Auntie Anne's, right? And here, here's a loft. My wife calls it Luft. <laughs> Perfume. The hell, I could smell this 200 feet away. Oh, man. Earthbound Trading Company. I guess everything here is organic, right? <laughs> and we're headed. This is the Dillard's area. Here's their Foot Locker. It's busy too. All, like I said, all the kiosks, a Croc store, a separate Croc store, and all these toys here. Oh my gosh, I, I bet they're not $69 like at the Target, right? But here's your pennies here, and it actually looks fairly nice. Now here's all the husbands waiting for the wives, right? That's always typical. And a nail pro. Can't have a ball without a nail uh, pro. Or uh, where they do your nails. Art brow, or brow art. <laughs> Where they do your eyebrows, oh my gosh. But here's the JC pennies, and they actually, this one actually looks fairly nice. Mirage diamonds and fine jewelry. I think I spotted four or five already in here. And and looks like this fountain finally lost all of its pressure here. <laughs> and down that way is the Apple Store and Dick's Sporting Goods and Books a Million where I came in. But here's here's the Dillard's down this way kids foot locker even a kids foot locker in here a tech clinic I, that's why i like this mall there's all kinds of things in here rue 21 rack room shoes there this is a nice dillard's too i've been coming here for a long time years it's always been in the same place lens crafters here right over there i've got my eyes done in there before t-mobile you always you, those are they're everywhere now t-mobile and the more it says here we go again more shops this way apple oh yeah love apple products expensive though and i don't know what this is here furniture distribution center same day delivery selling furniture optical outlet verizon they have a 7-eleven in the mall i saw this before there's a 7-eleven in the mall right here <laughs> And it looks just like a 7-Eleven inside. And here, here is Fossil. This is a nice store. Pricey, but and here's Sephora. All the makeup for all the ladies out there. Sephora. And uh, there's your, your books a million. This used to be a Starbucks. They So they used to have two of them. It's not anymore called Blind Tiger. Never heard of it. But there's your Dick's Sporting Goods. And we're going to head in there. But we're going to look at the Apple Store right here. It's always packed. Let's see how many people are in it at noon. Oh, it'll be packed. It will be packed. This is not that big of an Apple store, but it will be totally, totally jammed. Don't worry about that. And then we're gonna, there's the, where I came in at Westfield on that side. And we're gonna head into Dick's Sporting Goods because I wanna look at a few items in here that I know are really pricey. We're going to head into Dick's Sporting Goods here, and I want to show you some coolers I've been looking at. And you're going to be surprised at the price, because every time I look at them, I'm like, are you kidding? Now, here's the coolers I was talking about. Everybody knows them. They're Yetis. <laughs> and, and these are really pricey. $275 for 35-quart cooler and um, a 65-quart cooler. How much is this guy right here? That one's $250. And I don't know what the price on the 65 is, but I bet it's expensive. Come on, let's find a price on these guys. $250 for that. I don't know what this one is with wheels, but I bet it's $400. Oh, I bet it is. I don't see pricing. Why aren't the, why aren't the prices? That's in, look at $450 for this this Yeti right here. That's $450 for that. I want to find a price on this guy. There's a lock on it. <laughs> There's locks on all this stuff. One here, two, one, two, two locks. I don't see a price. I bet it's six hundred dollars. I just bet. I just bet it is. But if that one's four fifty, this one's bigger. That has to be more. <laughs> Where's the price on this guy? Come on, don't hide on me. 
Oh, jeez. I don't see it. $450. $450 for a Yeti cooler? And this is just your average one. Can you imagine that? $450. There's some others. Let's look at these. And these are the soft sides. Let's check these out. $150 just for this. $150 for this Yeti cooler. See the see the lock on it? $150. $150. $150. $150. Oh my gosh. What are what are these? No price on it. I'm scared to look. Even your lunch bag. I bet this thing is $75. <laughs> I just the prices on these things, that's crazy. $150. And those are the smaller ones. What size is this? No, that's the $150. But really pricey stuff, you know? And even these buckets are they're $35 for the Yeti. Just a regular bucket like this. Just a regular Home Depot bucket, a little bit thicker, $35. Oh, and they have Yeti chairs too. Well, here's some stuff here. Yeti, what is it? A blanket, $200, $200 for a blanket. Everything Yeti is pricey. And all the, look at all the Yeti stuff they have though. I know it's really good stuff, but, it, but, it's, but it's really expensive when you look at the pricing. Really pricey stuff. There's the little Yeti cooler, two seventy-five. Well, there you go. There's your prices on your Yeti coolers. Four fifty for this one. I bet the ones with the wheels are two, three hundred dollars more easily. I've seen them six ninety-nine, seven ninety-nine, and eight ninety-nine for a Yeti cooler. It's plastic. <laughs> well, we're heading out of the mall here. There's the Mac store there. Oh, there's the Michael Kors. I I don't know where my wife is. I have to find her. <laughs> Since I started doing my, my vlogging, I, I haven't heard from her. Usually she calls right in the middle of my uh, my filming. Oh, let's look at some of this gourmet popcorn here. The prices are high. Let's look and see what the popcorn costs here. What is the popcorn? There's your prices. Oh my goodness. How are we doing? I love popcorn. <laughs> Thanks. Did you see the prices of the popcorn? It was, I saw $16, I saw $23 for one gallon tin of popcorn. What they could, can't cost more than a dollar to buy and pop yourself, right? But they use um, coconut oil, which is really good, but uh, not for that price, no way. <laughs> now here's this Books A Million, and I can't believe that there's still a bookstore left in America. I thought everybody did everything on their phone and online where someone actually picked up a real a real book. And this is a huge store too. It's just a monster store. Just huge. So we're gonna head out here and there's the, uh, there's the Red Robin out there. Really sunny day here in Florida. And here's P.F. Chang's again. Well, here's P.F. Chang's with the famous horse. And, and when we come here at night, this place has people standing everywhere and it smells delicious, but just looking at some of the main entrees here, Fire Bray short ribs, $31. Chang spicy chicken, 21. Mongolian beef, 24. Lunch bowls, $14. Soups and salads, 15. Dim sum, I didn't know they had that here. Appetizers, 15 bucks, 15 bucks. Rice and noodles. I mean, oh, rice and noodles, cocktails, $12, 13 13 But some of the stuff, miso glazed salmon, 27 Just everything is pricey here. It's really good, but you remember, you gotta, you gotta leave a tip. Now, this is the old Sears here that's, that's closed down, and this used to be a hopping place. They had an automotive section right here, and it was, it was right over there where you walk in for the automotive and fix the cars on the side. Right now, what you can see is the parking lot is um, completely empty. This is where everybody from Sears parked, right here. <laughs> the mall's packed, but uh, this part of the mall's not. And there is um, Macy's right over there. And um, then you come right up to Sears where I walked to the end of the mall. And that's it. It's dead. It's gone. Another store out of business, another Sears. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed the tour here of Westfield Mall in Brandon, Florida. We come here a lot. I like this mall. This is more of a hopping mall than I've ever seen in Florida. Uh, the stores are for, you know, 
middle class people and, and they shop here. I like the food court. Everything's nice about it. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Scott with The Real Economy. We'll see you.